I'm Samantha. And I'm Claire. And this is Drunk Literature. So today we're going to talk about Pride and Prejudice. <gasps> you can't even like see this picture because of lights. Look at Mr. Darcy. There's these five girls. who They're all sisters. There's Jane. And there's Elizabeth. And there's Lydia. And then there's Mary and Kitty. And I don't remember which is older, Mary or Kitty. But anyway, so Jane is like, oh, I'm such a sweet darling. And Lizzie is like, I am a strong, independent woman. And Lydia's like, hee 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 We have a guest. It's my sister. And then Mary is kind of angsty and like fail. And uh, Kitty is like, I just want to be like Lydia. These really rich dudes that come into town and they're named Fitzwilliam Darcy and Mr. Bingley. Mr. Bingley immediately takes an interest in a Jane Bennett, the sweetest person to ever exist. <laughs> and Darcy and Lizzie like immediately hate each other. And then um, drama happens and Lizzie has a thing with a guy named George Wickham. He's Wait. a hottie McBody. Who is a officer guy. She finds out some bad shit about him that he did to Darcy's little sister. And so she starts taking pity on Darcy and not liking Wickham. Okay. Lydia runs off with Wickham. She's a little shit. Yeah, they run away to get eloped, except he doesn't actually intend to marry her. And then Darcy saves the day. But also there's some drama in the middle where, like, Bingley leaves town. He, like, kind of leaves Jane in the lurch, and, like, Jane is really sad. Like, we kind of reconcile. Everyone gets married. Really? The well, Lizzie Bennet Diaries was kind of what started the whole, like, literary-inspired web series fandom. Yeah, basically. Um, in this version, Mary is their cousin. Kitty is a cat. And so it's really just the three sisters. Kitty isn't really a necessary as... As anything other than, like, an added, like, benefit to Lydia's character. Yeah. They change the elopement to, like, a just relationship, mm -hmm. and then he kind of ghosts her. They gave Jane, like, a better ending, where she does, she just, she moves to New York independently, and Bing moves to New York independently, and he's her arm candy. Yep. And in this version, like, Jane is, like, working in fashion, and Lizzie is, like, getting her master's in mass communication, and Lydia is trying to get through community college. Like, if you want to start with anything, and if you want to get the best identity of the plot, I would just go with Liz Bennett. Instead of the marriage proposals, be like job offers. Mm -hmm. If you have a free weekend, even if you don't need to know about Pride and Prejudice, just, just watch, just watch it. Bennett, It'll take you six hours. <laughs> Just watch Lizzie's. Yeah. No. No, that was six hours of the whole thing. Definitely watch Liz Lydia's. And definitely watch Gigi's. Because I had a friend that didn't watch Gigi's, and then I made her watch Gigi's, and she her mind was, like, blown. Lydia's the best. I love her. Fitzwilliam, like, I love him in adaptions, but he doesn't matter. Fitzwilliam Darcy or the other Fitzwilliam? Fitzwilliam Fitzwilliam. Fitzwilliam Fitzwilliam. <laughs> Except yes. his name is Fitzwilliam Darcy as well. Is it really? It's Colonel That's Fitzwilliam Darcy. That's the dumbest Darcy. thing I've <laughs> ever heard. Okay, Why would you name two characters <laughs> the exact same thing? It was Colonel Fitzwilliam Darcy and Fitzwilliam Darcy and it was fucking confusing. It's a good book, I thought though. his name was Fitzwilliam Fitzwilliam. No, it's Fitzwilliam Darcy. That's so dumb. It's Colonel That's Fitzwilliam. dumber than Fitzwilliam Fitzwilliam, which I thought was really dumb to begin with. 